Hello. Hi there. I thought I'd remind you. There's only a week left until the next full moon. Are you ready? There are only a few trials left. So, make sure to be careful out there. I'll see you again sometime. expect you to come back nobody treats me like a normal person not even my friends or family they all keep their distance and say oh what a poor soul all they feel is pity and curiosity towards me sorry to disappoint them but I'm not the poor soul they think I am Dying isn't so bad, is it? What's the point of dragging out your time in this world anyhow? You must have a hopelessness festering within as well then. I can't remember a time without it. Thank you for coming today. You seem different from the rest. I'm not sure I know how to describe it exactly, but you don't look on me with pity the way everyone else does. serve this body. <laughs> I hope we can meet again. Fancy meeting you here, huh? You're the one who keeps coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You from around here? <sighs> oh, not even listening, huh? <laughs> Here's... Wait, 
Whoa, your hand! What the hell happened? You're bleeding! What's wrong with you? Can't you mind your own business? Are you kidding? I can't just ignore that. Ah, uh, gotta have something. Give me your hand. I can wrap it up with this handkerchief. Why are you panicking? Huh? Who wouldn't be freaking out right now? You gotta get to a doctor. Uh, do you want me to go with you? Huh. You're a weird one. Chidori. Huh? My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? I'm almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then you know where to find me. the whole thing? Did I do good? <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them, it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. What do you think I should pick? all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh, if I go with Mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. It's no fair. I miss you too much. Better get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? Oh, it's you. Look. I 
see. Man, sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. Ah, sorry. You're right. Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emmy reading me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I want to. Only, Emiri said I can't. It's like... All of a sudden, she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. does it for a first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Um, what do you think? This is how I look now. Huh? Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? 
She said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even... you? The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. Koromaru, no, you definitely have to stay here, okay? You finished? All done here? Come back soon. another new transfer student joining us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. igis so? I've never heard a name like that. Maybe she's a foreigner. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid tactical weapon. 
Surely that's a mistake. It just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Yeah! You got that right! Let's see, you can sit, um... Are there any open seats? Oh, there's a spot right next to him. Okay, off you go. Uh, Miss Toriyumi? Someone already sits there. He just ditched today. Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. The spot is perfect. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. I guess... What is it? Uh, Yukari, why'd you stand up? Uh, why? Uh... Good to see everyone's getting along so well. But do me a favor and save the drama for after class. Give me a break. starting to piss me off. Things have changed. Sorry, but I'm not taking no for an answer this time. What? This belongs to you. <sighs> There's a new threat. Persona users just like us. <sighs> so? That's not my problem. That's not everything. Amada has joined our team. <sighs> what the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki san approved it. He's a Persona user now. I don't believe it. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. Was it his decision to join? Yeah. He came to us. I see. <sighs> Then, I guess I'll stick around. So, you're in charge now, huh? I got a question for you. What are you fighting for? I see. Well, you do you. You gotta work together either way. My old room still empty? Yeah. appreciated. Hmm. Yeah.
Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Hello. I'm sorry.